Uh, yeah. Hi everybody, and I warmly welcome you all on our Life Positive show. Uh, this is my first interview uh, with blessings of Shivi Ma'am and her constant support and able guidance. Uh, I'm able to do this, um, and I would like to welcome Apurva Agarwal. Uh, who's an educational influencer and is helping so many people through Instagram and uh, other social media platforms and teaching them um, how to improve their communication skills. And that is our topic for today, which is the art of effective communication. I'd like to begin by asking uh, Apurva that can you please uh, take us through your journey? Uh, how did you begin and uh, what inspired you and how did your uh, page Let's Be Eloquent it came into place? Uh, so hello everyone and thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. I'm really looking forward to an interactive session. Uh, so the thing is that I come from a, I come from a very, very small town. It's called Meerut. So when I was in Meerut, I was a young girl with great aspirations and I decided to become a lawyer. And I went to Delhi for my legal studies, Noida basically. I did my law from Symbiosis Law School, Noida. In, that's when I met my husband. Uh, we started dating and uh, he was a year senior to me. So he's from Bareilly. So he went back to Bareilly and uh, I started working there at a premium law firm called AZB and Partners. So I worked there for two years and while I was doing law, I did my internships extensively in the corporate sector. So I'm very well acquainted with that corporate structure. Uh, so after two years, uh, we decided to get married, but the major, major uh, thing was that I had to shift to Bareilly. So shifting from Delhi, from that environment, coming to Bareilly uh, wasn't really a tough choice for me because at that particular time I was only and only, um, my major focus was to get married obviously. I was getting married to the love of my life. But then of course I started contemplating and thinking what will I do, what will I do there. So thankfully my in-laws happened to be in the education, they run education institutions. And they told me that once I shift to Bareilly, they're going to uh, help me take care of the management of the school. So I started going to school and I started working, but it didn't feel like my own. It felt that it was something that was, you know, just given to me. I had no, um, it was not something which was earned. It was something I got it only because I married into such family. And thinking about it, I felt no, I need to do something of my own but then the whole point was what to do. So I was always correcting people's pronunciation like all the time I used to be correcting their grammar, their pronunciation. So my husband told me why don't you do something about this. I was like okay let's do it. So I te started teaching pronunciation on my page and then the lockdown happened and I started, uh, I was approached by a lot of institutions. I started teaching and then I started making reels. I was giving my full time to my page and that's when it grew and now we are a family of 114,000 followers which is which is a lot to me I remember celebrating 600 followers it meant the world to me and today now that I, it is a family of 114,000 followers I feel like I have literally earned something that I can say is my own from the scratch so that is my journey and that is how Let's Be Eloquent came into being just because I had this passion of doing something of my own during this whole process I I'm, I'm a dedicated wife or a family person and now also a mother but never let um, never did I let any of this interfere with my passion towards working so that's what I think makes my page successful I won't say successful but my page something which uh, gets a lot of appreciation because of all the hard work that I put in. So yes, that's the journey of Let's Be Eloquent and I'm, I hope that it grows and I hope I am able to educate and influence as many people as possible. Okay. I don't know why you think it's not it's not a success. I personally feel it's so helpful. It's reaching massive audiences and the content yeah. is clearly so diverse. I mean, you're covering everything from learning new words to how to speak publicly well. 
so continuing uh, with my next question i want to ask you that what is the importance of having good communication skills in today's time i think it is the most important skill set one really need to have uh this is one thing communication is one thing that you require the most in today's time if you're able to deliver your message in the in a very well articulated manner in in this competitive world when people are fighting for jobs people are fighting to create their own standing communication skill is one skill that will help you prove your worth and also will help you survive in this you know cutthroat competitive world so communication skill i think is necessary in every sphere of our life even if you're working we're not working how we are putting forward our message how we are putting forward our thoughts is what is extremely important you might be as bright as possible you might be the topper of your class or your batch but if you don't know when to speak what how to speak how well to speak i don't think it's of any use so i was never a very brilliant kid but there was one thing i was good at i was good at speaking and i realized that really soon in my life that yes apura this is your forte and you need to focus on it so even when i was not good in studies i hardly got a distinction till class 6 there was one thing which kept me at par with with kids who were brilliant and intelligent and that were my communication skills it's extremely important for us to have communication skills and to actually invest if you're bad at it to actually invest in learning the art of communication because it is something which you can learn at any stage of your life and it is going to be extremely beneficial to you it does not it does not come with an expiry date even when you are 70 years old you need this skill yeah uh, uh, so yes it is it is truly very important to have good communication skill set so something that's coming to my mind is that you know there are people who are extroverts who love to talk yes. to them communication is not really a problem or a challenge they love it so they they will find out a way but somebody who's an introvert who has difficulty in connecting to people or talking uh, to new people initiating conversations um, like i have a brother so he rarely talks to strangers or people so when we ask him that mangan how are you going to be in the world you know how are you going to he said jab baat karni hogi tab thodi si main kar lunga so yeah okay, so we want to know how so somebody is an introvert what do you say i think there is a very big misconception about introverts and extroverts now it, it's it's just a personality trait it is not that you have poor communication skills that makes you an introvert you're an introvert by choice you don't like talking to people you can you're good at communication you're you're good at things but it's just you you you're indifferent towards people you only like to have a selective group of friends mm-hmm. uh, you don't want to be out there with everyone now extroverts are uh, people who like to talk who like to make conversations who can be friends with strangers like this however introverts need their own space now coming to that for introverts uh, they are they're called like people of few words they will not go an extra mile to you know bond that connection with you so i don't think communication skill is a problem with them it's just they don't want to exercise it but for example now an introvert enters into a corporate world or in the professional world wherein he or she has to talk to people she cannot decide at that particular time no i'm an introvert i i don't want to talk to my boss no that is not that is not something that can be done or that they can do away with so what introverts my suggestion would be to if if you if you're a man of few words or if you don't like to talk aloud just be very specific with your uh with your communications with people you want to communicate with find out who is important for the communication aspect don't bring too much of your personality on the table but at least uh realize that you're putting up an act and you just have to do it for the for, for your own sake so for introverts they should actually uh start with talking to their family members or people who are whom they are really close with surroundings get little comfortable and then whenever they're talking to a stranger or to someone which for them they have to present themselves they can probably i'm 100% sure they'll be able to perform better so for introverts i think it's extremely important to get the support of that core surrounding to get that push 
you giving that push to your brother that you have to do this you have it in you it's just you don't want to exercise it and once they break that ice and once they they psychologically feel that yes i can do it they will definitely it's just a mental block that they have which can be done away with um so i was watching one of your reels it was very interesting you were talking about shahrukh khan's uh, communication skills and how he's so yeah. he, he packages his uh, statements with humor and uh, he's very on point very precise so what what is effective communication how can one really package their conversations what are those three four things that if they add them like some people have a habit of going in loops they're not able to come to yeah, they're not able to articulate it so uh, so the kind of reason i put i did put a lot of remix reel it is because we idolize such people we idolize sharukh khan but we need to understand that he's coming from an atmosphere wherein he must be giving hundreds of interviews every day and that is what has made him so good at communication so one most important thing which we can learn from anyone who is good at communication skill is uh practice as cliche as it may sound speaking as much as you can practicing it on a daily basis you keep yourself numb you don't talk to anyone and one day you expect yourself to be really good as a speaker that is not possible so you have to uh, bring it as a proper ritual like how you pray to god or how you dress up every early like how you take a shower every day that is the same thing with communication so plan your day this is the first step towards becoming an effective communicator is by planning your day by planning for that specific project and the third most important thing i would say um, in becoming communication skill is realizing where do you lack it is not that you lack in every sphere you lack while you don't feel like talking to others or you have a problem in articulating a sentence or your grammar is your issue or your confidence is an issue what is it that is the most important a uh, negative point of your communication skill figure that out and start working on that specific point and i think you will be able to become great at communication yes i think that's really helpful and my next question is connected to it uh, how can one really overcome the barriers to effective communication like one you just mentioned is practice practicing it well yeah. now now overcoming barriers to effective communication is that you know uh, how do you know you're bad at something it is uh, how do you know you're not good at english you know that you, you're not good at english when you're not able to talk in english when you're not able to uh, you know uh, feel confident about it so one of the biggest way of becoming good at communication skill is to ensure that you realize that yes it is not people are in uh, denial they think that they're perfect that they don't have a problem first is to realize that yes you need help and then to start investing in it it is a skill that you're not born with it is a skill that can be improvised so you must start investing in it start learning it take coachings or you know connect with someone your friend who's good at it ask where you're going wrong this is one of the best way to you know if i have to figure out okay if i like go to someone uh, who's really good at it and you can okay tell me where am i wrong what is it that i need the most is going to tell me that pura you need to work on your sentence framing you need to work on your grammar rest everything is good you have a great voice modulation you have a good diction so i know okay i have to work on these two things so my first barrier is crossed because i know where i'm wrong and then invest in it अगर इंग्लिश खराब है तो इन्वेस्ट इन लर्निंग इंग्लिश अगर डिक्शन खराब है तो इन्वेस्ट इन लर्निंग दैट अगर आपका आर्टिकुलेशन खराब है आपको सेंटेंस फ्रेमिंग नहीं आती है देन इन्वेस्ट इन लर्निंग दैट सो दैट इज वन वेरी बिग वे ऑफ थिंग अनदर थिंग इज एक्सेप्ट दैट सीक फॉर हेल्प इन इट Uh, there are a lot of educators there are a lot of people who are doing courses where you can improvise but people do not want to invest in it yes they would walk, i mean i take classes which are priced as low as 200 rupees and wow. yeah and people don't want to spend that also because they feel that this is something that they can 
uh, learn for free. But that's not the case. You would spend thousands of money on those fancy cakes, fancy clothes that you can put on social media. But these are the skills you should be investing in. So to take help and admit that okay, fine, I'm wrong here and I need help. And another thing is make it a part of your do- daily routine. Don't think that this is something that you can decide. Okay, I'm going to give Sunday to my communication skills. No, you have to make it a part of your daily schedule to be good at it. To overcome communication, tell people around you that you are only supposed to talk to me in English, or you know prepare for it. Okay, I have this meeting tomorrow, and I'm going to give a demo in front of my friends and family and ask their review. So these are the things that you can actually and actually cross um, these barriers of communication, which all comes down to one thing: that is, make it a part of your life and practice as much as you can in ways you love the most. Like I love cooking. So I remember when I was staying alone in Delhi, I used to come back and I used to talk to myself when I was cooking. I thought that I have my own cooking channel wherein I'm going to teach people how to cook. when you were staying alone with no fancy facilities and i used to talk and talk and talk so that is how i found a way to communicate listen to music watch english shows with subtitles uh, read read as much as you can if you don't like reading there's so many other ways to do it so yes so essentially you're saying that inventing your own way that it is yes. fun that you love it so that yeah. you so that you make make it a point that you do it Yes, and don't think that's a burden. Like a lot of, and trust me, communication does not mean that you have to speak only in English. That you have to speak best, or you have to be super presentable. Communication basically means putting forward your point of view in a way that it can be easily understood by the other person. Mm-hmm. If you are using fancy languages, अगर आप अभी if you are taking an interview of Shashi Tharoor and he uses a lot of jargons and all, you will not be able to understand. That's what Sudha Murthy ji said one day that you know, if I have to talk to someone and then I have to refer to the dictionary each time, that is not great communication skill. That's great vocabulary, I agree. But communication is जो मैं बोलूँ वो दूसरे बंदे को instantly समझ आ जाए end. ये नहीं कि मैं कुछ बोल रही हूँ अदर पर्सन इज वॉन्डरिंग द होल डे वॉट डिड अपूवर से आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट इज नॉट वॉट कम्युनिकेशन इज पुटिंग फॉरवर्ड योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन अ वे द अदर पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड इट इमिजिएटली एज क्विकली एज द अदर पर्सन कैन इज वॉट गुड कम्युनिकेशन इज लाइक हाउ देर आर अनाउंसमेंट एट दी मेट्रो स्टेशन और एट दी रेलवे स्टेशन प्रिसाइज इन क्रिस समझ आ गया दैट इज ग्रेट कम्युनिकेशन सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज um i want to talk about instagram so today instagram yeah. is one platform where everybody is you know people use it to stay their opinions to learn new things or to connect with other people so what is you are also using instagram as a platform to educate people yeah so i want to know your perspective about how what is the power and impact of using a social media platform and reaching out to wider audiences and since it's all digital now people don't need to really you know go yeah. in person and learn so it's much easier so i'll tell you the power of social media and especially instagram is that earlier we were only acquainted with the face that we used to see so okay now that is sharukh khan so now the people who made sharukh khan sharukh khan his manager his stylist everyone are the ones who are being highlighted by instagram we were not we as an audience were least bothered about who did whose makeup who was behind this person but now because of instagram people who were working backstage are up on the front getting more work because they they, they are get, they have just gotten a platform to expose their work to others so for example let's take um this can whole can is going round like the can film festival yeah. so there's this very famous sari draper dolly j now earlier when instagram wasn't there or when such youtube was there basically people were just seeing sonam kapoor walk the ramp but now people know it's this lady who has draped her sari it is this lady who has done her makeup so this is the power of instagram by putting people who are working backstage come in front and tell people the word about the incredible work that they are doing now for my platform 
Instagram is a platform, especially the Reels feature, that it gives you a platform to share your work with a lot more people than just those who follow you. So the Reels that have got millions of views. So the fact that you're able to influence and educate so many people through a platform is in itself too incredible. And that is one reason. And it is made in such a fancy way that people are addicted to it. There's so much audience on it. We keep scrolling endlessly. So I think it's an, it's a brilliant platform for someone to the people who are just working through Instagram. People like me. I don't have any other active channel. My whole earning is through Instagram. So yes, it's it's a very powerful weapon if used wisely, and if used in a very systematic manner. It's given a lot of boost to a lot of creators. and obviously to all the small startup owners so yes of course it's an incredible platform for people like us also it's very relatable for the youth especially the youngsters because they they would prefer an inst- instagram over going to facebook or probably yes. so uh, absolutely so the thing is that it's just the difference between traditional learning and modern learning if we would sit hours in front of the class and taught what communication skills are we would lose interest but now we have we are teaching all of this in a very creative manner something people can relate with through the medium of instagram and that is what makes it different so addictive and people can relate to it so yes that is how it is um it's it's just something um a medium where people are spending so much time of their day uh they're just making it more informative Yes. And creative, and also quick, quick to assimilate. Like it's a tricky thing, and you can take yeah. so much from it. There is a reason why there is a time limit for reels, also because people know that then nobody's going to spend more than thirty seconds or sixty seconds watching your content. So our purpose is to incorporate so much in those sixty seconds and put it to the audience. So that itself is great. So I'm just using your one minute to teach you something which would otherwise require an hour. So that is the power of it. Um, I want to talk about that. You know, there's a certain shame attached to not knowing English. There are there's a yes. section of people that they feel if they do not know how to speak English well, they're somewhere uh, less than the other people who can. So there, there's this thing called inferiority complex that comes into picture. Like recently, uh, I was very, um, uh, I, I empathized with this person who came to me and told me that she went for an interview, and the interviewer said that I'll pay you less because you don't speak English so well. It was not the job did not require you to have English proficiency, but it was the other skill that was needed more. So um, I think, uh, don't you think that we need to also get over? as a community and as as a country or as a whole that this should not be a barrier language is just a medium to say what you want to say you can be good in hindi you can communicate well your ideas in hindi so uh, how does one not feel shameful about it and then they can also work on it um see to be very honest um i will tell you the kind of society where we live in and the kind of mindset people have there is a reason why we want to send our kids to english medium schools why our focus is okay whether the teacher is speaking proficiently and not because the language is important let's just accept it that the language is important it is something that you need to communicate with majority of people in the world leave alone india and nowadays um it has started affecting a brand value um, the reason why one very important thing is that when we go for an interview i tell everyone no matter how well prepared you are it all depends on the mindset of the interviewer agar wo acche mood mein hai to kuch bura bhi sun lega aur bure mood mein hai to kuch acha bhi nahi sunega so you really have to be that part that way you have to be lucky that the interviewer is um is in a good mood and they have it all depends uh now when it comes to english it is an important language and people should should know that they need to invest in it there is the kind of mindset that we have the kind of competition we have there are hundreds of people fighting for one job so because you're not good in english and you're not getting a job why would i hire an empl- i have 10 employees waiting outside there are 10 who have the skill that i require for the job and who are good at english but there's one who's not i will definitely hire the one who's good at it so 
although it's a great barrier and people should give a lot of importance to other qualities of an employee too but this is something let's just accept we cannot get away with and that is the reason why i also focus a lot on you know you might not be good at english but you have to be good at communication at least aapko jitni aati hai aap usko bahut acche se bol pao and this is one thing in an interview that you can always tell an interviewer that you know i might not be great at it but i'm i'm trying my best to improvise it so that this does not cause hindrance to me in future but there are hundreds of people applying for one job we want someone who is a perfect fit so to become a perfect you have to overcome all the barriers to it and unless you are exceptionally great at one thing so i understand it is one of the biggest barrier for youth and everything but they have all the mediums in the world to improvise and to work on it it's their choice to not do it so i believe yes it's it's a barrier but it will i don't think it's going away anytime soon it's a skill that people need in today's time you would not want to send your kid a teacher kitni brilliant ho लेकिन अगर वो आपकी चाहे वो कितनी इंटेलिजेंट हो कितनी हम्बल हो बट इफ टीचर्स टॉकिंग टू योर किड लाइक और बताओ क्या करा घर पे मजे करे यू हैव दैट मेंटल ब्लॉग यू बी लाइक योर टीचर टॉक्स टू यू लाइक दैट बाय सो यू कैन चेंज द माइंड सेट विल टेक सम टाइम सो बेटर टू इन्वेस्ट इन इट लर्न इट एंड बी प्रोफेशन एट इट यू ऑल्सो कॉल योर एन एटिकल जीनियस what is that what does that mean um so the, the thing is that um, while i was taking a lot i was doing a lot of reels i i'm personally a person who follows a lot of etiquette in my personal life as in i'm very particular about how i talk how i eat my food and all of these things have always fascinated me so i thought why not make that a part of my reel and tell people about things that i love to do the most like how to eat a croissant or how you supposed to use the cutlery but i thought to be putting up that content on such a huge platform requires me to be a certified coach so i did a certification course um it's not a very fancy course that i've done i've done it from an institution wherein they gave me videos i studied those videos extensively and then they provided me a certificate of being a certified coach but it is just my passion towards being very etiquette conscious Like I always had the urge. How do you sit on that particular thing? How you suppose? Like I always keep all all the kids in my house are so scared of me because they don't want to eat in front of me because they say the moment we open our mouth while eating, we're going to get a scolding from us. So I'm that person. I have this etiquette OCD. I'm so nice to the wait staff. I ne- I never called a maid a maid. I always I have always called them help. So that is my you know my. inclination towards being very etiquette conscious and my liking towards being very prim and polished is what made me an etiquette coach uh, can you give us some quick um, tips or hacks uh, that can help us be better at communication in our professional lives um, all right so the best and the most important tip for your professional life is plan your day in advance you know what's going to happen the next day what are the words that are using you using the most when you are at work the greeting words the introductory words how you're supposed to introduce yourself how you're supposed to start a meeting end a meeting the kind of conversations you have just plan your day in advance when you plan your day it will hardly take you a week or max a month and then you will become so used to it that automatically your communication will tremendously improve so plan your day in advance another thing is uh make it a part of your life uh it, understand the importance of it make it a part of your daily routine invest in it do as much as you can to improve your communication skills like i've been like stressing a lot on it it comes down to the same thing and the third most important tip that i would like you to take is ask for reviews ask people where you are wrong because until unless you know that there is nothing that you can uh, you you won't know where to fix yourself so if you took an interview today you're going to ask your senior that how is it why are you asking how is it because you want to don't want to do the same mistake next time you take an interview but if you don't do that if you're like okay fine i must have been really good and that's it that there is no there is no growth in it so 
there's always a process i always till date whenever i put a reel whenever i take a class i always ask my husband or other people you know how what what do you think and then they tell me this was great but you can work a lot on this now that is where you grow so never stop learning and ask for reviews now it is for the person who is giving a review you they should have that much etiquette to give you a very constructive feedback and not demotivate you but ask people who would genuinely so you ask your ma'am and tell them that ma'am you gave me this opportunity today how is it where do you think i can improve and then she's going to tell you you were great this is something i think you can do better that is where you learned a new thing and that is where you became better at communication so ask for reviews always learn grow that that's it they also say that when you say less words they have a greater impact the art of saying something in fewer words and yet making an impact yet putting your point across really well so um do you have some insight like on that how can one simplify their thoughts and say them in few words well the only way of simplifying your thoughts and saying them in few words is only if you have a great vocab that is the only way you can uh put forward your point of view so i watched this movie yesterday it's it's a, it's a very rom-com movie on netflix it's called a perfect pairing wherein the actor he uses a lot of idioms and phrases and quotes to put forward his point of view so he would say just one quote and the other person would understand okay that's what you mean so now you can't do that you can't google it each time so the way, the way to be very impactful with few words is obviously by improvising your vocab uh if you're writing something down you obviously have time to research uh you, you want to say okay this is beautiful but beautiful according to you is a very less impactful word so you you google the synonym of beautiful you will come across 100 words you pick up the best word and you learn something new so this is spectacular so you know the other person will understand wow that's what she means so i keep on doing that i keep on using synonyms so improvising your vocabulary each time but it comes from within trust me it is not something that will come to you just like that i won't say that is one tip that i can tell you that you know you can become great at it you have to exercise it daily if you're writing an email you're bored of using one word just find a synonym of it and then of course it will be imbibed in your uh, in your uh, mental vocab so improvising your vocab is one very uh, efficient way of putting forward your point of view in a very well short crisp and articulated manner so that is my suggestion to people who struggle a lot just improvise your vocab and then guma guma ke na bolne ki jagah it's better that you say just direct words everything comes with practice it is not it is like if you can learn french spanish german at this particular age why can't you learn english or any other language for that fact people who come from outside who are working in india they're learning hindi it's not a shame they understand being in india they need to learn hindi similarly people who are traveling from india to paris are learning french because that is their native language they need to learn that so yes there you go I think you just need the right intent that I want to learn, and then you, you want learn. yes. If you don't have that, if you don't have that, if you think by reading one book you're going to learn, I see a lot of influencers saying, "Read these three books, you will improve your English." You pick up any book in the world, any book, you're going to improve your English. You're going to improve your communication skills. There is no one book. it is just your intent with which you are reading the book are you reading it because you want to read a story or you are reading it because you want to learn that is what matters a lot that's why you will never find any reel of mine wherein i'm telling you name of three books or three netflix shows um that will help you improve your english any show which in which they speak english will help you improve your english you just need to have that intent i agree with you 100% so i had this colleague at work who once came to me and said that you know i want to work on my english what do i do and i don't have that attention span of like too long that i can finish a book i said we have got great magazines you pick up one magazine there are such short um articles and reads and they are so nice they will even help you like mentally yeah. soothe you so i and he started doing that and the uh, after 3 months he came back and telling me that the results were just 
miraculous yes and she could only do this because she had the will and intent to learn absolutely you, you know you read fashion magazines just for fashion or you read them because you want to learn something <laughs> so this is the intent matters a lot so this is video that i saw and they said that i want to improvise english what is it that i need the person said you need the will to learn if you don't have that you cannot do anything about it so that is extremely important so really if someone asks me how can i improvise my english i tell them what is it that you love the most the person tells me i love to dance then communicate while you're doing it imagine you're a teacher you're teaching someone different forms of dancing and talk about it you will be so fluent in with your thoughts because this is something that you know Mm-hmm. and similarly step by step there are more ways of improvising it and i think uh, it's even wiser if you read good content like life positive stands for such like improving your will uh, improving your intent and you know um, grasping really good thoughts that will make you healthy like inside so it's absolutely it's like you are you are uh, it's a win win you're learning english and you're also feeding your mind good con- healthy content that is what i'm saying uh you are making teaching informative and not boring so if there's someone who does not like to read or probably would listen to our conversation would have a lot of takeaways that are going to help them become better at communication because they're enjoying it why do we have podcast now because everybody people don't have time to read a lot they want to listen to something while they're driving so you're putting this on youtube also you're putting it like publishing it in a magazine you you're just presenting it to people in whichever form they are comfortable grasping this whole knowledge so there are a lot of people who don't like to read but there are people who love to listen who love to listen so you're providing it to them in both the mediums yes. so that is the why and it's a great initiative actually and um, i truly appreciate it because a lot of people don't really consider us as an influencer for them influencer has always been the fashion one but we need people like a lot of education influencer because if you don't if you're not good at all of this how can you present yourself you know this is a skill that is needed by anyone by by actors whom we idolize by politicians by miss universe miss india she needs everybody needs such skills and it's a great platform to be highlighting this work like i'm so happy i i genuinely feel so happy when a platform like yours approach me um because that's when i feel okay there are people who realize the worth of it the importance of it yes so this you know how this concept came into being the bb interviewing influencers for creating healthy content one day we were having a meeting and uh, our editor uh, ms shivi varma she suggested that people sometimes they end up you know creating content that's really not worth it it's not healthy it should not be appreciated yeah. properly koi reel ka gana aa gaya hai wohi same dance har koi kar raha hai yes. you're not learning anything out of it what is it that you're learning it's just it's it's just yeah it's not healthy that's when she suggested that let's pick up some influencers who are really creating healthy content and uh, let's profile them you know let's promote them uh, and that's how uh, this whole process came to be and i really appreciate and love your content i've seen it uh, the diversification uh, and i want to ask like can you here on this platform can you talk a little bit about what all types of things is, uh, that you cover like the vocabulary um or public speaking if you happen to visit my page you will find everything uh, that you'll find on my page is something that will make you learn something so i teach pronunciation i teach english i teach communication i teach etiquette and i also teach manners like basic manners everything and anything that will eventually make you a better person which will contribute to being uh, to you having a great personality so that is what it is all about even if i'm promoting a fashion brand or if i'm promoting any brand for that matter it will have my niche uh it will have the kind of content that i want to promote so you will not find anything that is off the track so yes you will find pronunciation language communication public speaking etiquettes manners uh styling uh oh, interviews interview interviews Yes. interview hacks resume hacks and uh, yes in, and it's even suitable for kids i take workshop for kids also for adults also freshers and everyone uh english a lot of it yes 
I also saw it is very interesting that how to say no very politely, like you. Yeah. So that was very interesting, like a concept and someone really. That's true because you need it now, people. You know, there was this. Uh, I get a lot of hate on my etiquette reels, like a lot of it. I the comments are very very bad, and I tell them that you know, for example. Uh, so I said that you know there is a particular way of eating a korsa. So people are like, "Hamari marzi, ham jaise man karega waise khayenge." I'm like, "Okay, fine." But there's still people who are in an environment. For example, you visit Paris once and you you're sitting with people. It's always a great impression if you know how to eat a food. Um, there's this etiquette coach who had written that you know, if you're in a formal meeting, you should not be eating uh, rice and dal the way you eat at home. Be very mindful. And people had given so much hate to her. Why? As in, there are still a lot of people who want to present the best of themselves. They want to learn. They, uh, you can't say no to a person like uh, you know. You want this? No, I don't. It's rude. There is no harm in being polite and learning how to be polite. So yes, having a great vocab, a positive vocab, makes a lot of difference. It's really sad that the stalling and hatred that comes. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like oh god, it is so bad. I just recently uploaded a reel in where and I'm telling them, you know, we can learn how Marlon Monroe is walking down the stairs. She's looking so confident, and people are like, "Meri marzi, me kaise bhi chalungi, I will fall down." And I was like, "Fine." you know and you won't believe i practiced myself i practiced getting down the stairs without looking down and i could do it it's not that you should look down while you're walking but when you're entering the hall maybe three steps if you enter without looking down will create an impact right so when you know okay fine i've entered the stage up you know you're holding your dress in whatever manner possible but when you're entering the stage you have suddenly transform into that confident personality people don't understand the motive of it uh so yes it's just people should have the will to learn and that that is going to help them a lot really charged up and i'm going to myself go and watch all those reels so that <laughs> hacks and like impact uh so we are left yeah. with last 15 minutes i would like to invite uh, people from our audience who have come here by the way i want to thank you all for taking our time and coming on this uh, meeting or if you're watching live uh, if any of you have questions for apurva and you think i'm sure it's going to help you you are free to unmute yourself and ask her a question is english mandatory for communication we did uh, okay so number 1 communication can be in any language but communication do janon mein banti hai it is when you're talking to other person that is where english plays an important role agar aap sirf apni community ke logo se conversation karte ya fir aap apne area ke logo se karte hai aap kisi bhi language mein baat karo in which you're comfortable but the moment you step out of that comfort zone and you meet a random person on the street do you think he or she will 100% understand your language no but you know uh 80 or 90% of them will understand english so that is why it is not mandatory but i feel it is important and it is great to know that language to make communication easy and not a barrier for yourself now china i understand but do you know that chinese hire translators and they keep those translators with them in all the meetings and everything so they they have money to spend on translators if probably we have that much money i would keep someone you know to translate whatever i'm saying i was like kon padega english let's just uh, hire a translator who's translating so chinese do that they have found a shortcut in that respect so whenever they visit india or when indians are traveling there they have translators doing the job for them so yes they're not challenging the world anyhow it is english is important in every sphere uh yeah exactly so even if if even if you are at work even if you are talking to someone if you have to make a call to a client and you have to say hello sir how are you agar aap client ko call karke bolge aur se bataiye aap kaise hain it's good but you never know whether the other person will understand the language or not but there are 80 90% chances that you know people will understand now when it comes to interview i must tell you this thing agar aapko lagta hai in an interview that you are comfortable speaking in hindi please tell the interviewer in advance so i'll give you a very very specific thing 
whenever the interviews for IAS or IPS or judicial services happen, the interviewee is always told, the candidate is always told कि आप जाके पहले ये बोल दो that sir I am comfortable talking in Hindi. एक interview I saw, so I see a lot of these interviews जिसमें एक candidate से question पूछा गया. The first thing she said was sir is it okay if I can give my answer in Hindi because I think I will be able to tell it better. And the interviewer said absolutely go ahead. So interview में भी अगर आपको लगता है हिंदी में कोई चीज जानते हो आप बता सकते हो then please do mention. Now rest depends on the recruiter. Obviously if you have a recruiter like me my focus will be on how much knowledge you have for the job than on the language. But then of course there are recruiters like you told who focus on English. Yes. So that is why it is um, it is important. It's great if you can invest in it, but if you're not comfortable in it, let the other person know. Don't try to fake it. It's like you're English mein bole ja rahe ho, you're not making sense. You tell them that sir, I'm more comfortable talking in Hindi, and the other person says, but we need you to speak in English. You can say, of course, if it is needed for the job, then I will try my best to learn the language. Simple. So that is how it can be. Like it can be a smooth process. I have one question. So, uh, yeah. communication also involves expressing yourself better and how you're using your body language. Like I remember in school, I used to use my hands a lot while talking. I thought I cannot. I need to take support of my hands. And my teacher, my English teacher, she made me stand up in the front in front of the whole class, and she said, "Why do you keep using your hands so much? It's so irritating." And I felt really bad. So. Um, Now with time, I think I'm still. I need to always hold my hand yeah, yeah. at the back. So how does one uh, take care of their body language? They're mindful of both the things. So as long as it does not appear to be irritating, it's fine. So you don't have to be very loud with your expressions. Mm-hmm. So it's not loud when you achieve that. Uh, the focus of the audience changes from what you're speaking to your gestures. Right. You know there are there are a lot of people who make a lot of facial expressions who move a lot while speaking. They are told not to do so because then the the attention shifts from the communication to their body language. So as long it's not hindering your main focus, main purpose. If you're on the stage, you're there to speak, and people are focusing on your speech and not on your gestures, then it's all right. But if you're moving too much, if you're calling a lot of hand gestures, and people are like. You know, I look. That is when yes, that is when it goes wrong. So keep it subtle. The reason why we say keep it subtle because then people are not going to notice it so much. So I also use my hand a lot, but not to a point that people will stop listening to me and will start focusing on my hands. Mm-hmm. So that is why it's always said to keep it low. And if you feel there is a uh, that you're doing it too much, see you got to know this because someone told you okay. this. Otherwise, someone pointed like you know this is where you're wrong. So I, whenever I used to dance, I used to close my eyes. So my mother told me, "You're a brilliant dancer, but why do you close your eyes while dancing?" And this is when I noticed. Okay, so that's causing a hindrance in my dance. Similarly, keep your gestures, your body language calm and composed, and subtle gestures so that the attention does not shift. I have another question. Can I ask? Yes, yes. Please, please, please do. Um, so I used to have this massive stage fright. So even today, if I think of, oh, I'm gonna go on TED Talk or say something one day, but then it scares me. Am I going to be able to speak in front of this audience? So, uh, can you give me something that can calm me down, that I can tell myself before I go on stage, or any tricks that you know for public speaking? Yeah. So why do you have stage fright? Is first thing you got to ask yourself. Is it because you don't want to speak in so much so many people, or is it because what if you go wrong and people make fun of you, or is it because you're not confident at all, or you're not prepared at all? So uh, to overcome stage fright, there's this one great practice that I always do when I have to give a lecture in front of a lot of people. That I play audience, live audience on YouTube. I have this TV in my room wherein there is this audience sitting in front of me. and i practice in front of my tv and it feels like okay i have live audience sitting in front of me and i'm talking another thing is that if you're not great at public speaking if you have stage fright when you appear on the stage find a point to look where there are no people so for example if i you scared of making an eye contact 
this is the level of eye contact you look here so the audience is going to think you're looking at them but you will be looking at your comfort zone and talking so that way you will be distracted less and you will be able to have that confidence kuch log kya hote hai stage pe wo bahut acche se bolte hai because wo prepare ho kya hai lekin beech mein agar kisi ne tok diya then they're gone <laughs> so that obviously comes with you know you preparing for it practicing how you can practice imagine a huge audience in front of you play it on youtube and speak it will eventually make you feel okay this is what this is something i've done before but trust me little bit of nervousness little bit of fright is absolutely common it happens with every single person there's no person who would say that mujhe dar nahi laga to go on the stage because you don't know the audience how will they be so i think we should all practice our oscar speeches in how you must i always do that <laughs> so i was just telling someone i said yaar hum log ko to koi awards bhi nahi milte hai koi kahin bulata bhi nahi hai so i've always la- i always label myself as a boring influencer i said all these passionate influencers who are doing the same thing again and again unless of course like your masoom mina wala where you're actually creating an impact there's so many who are getting it for no reason so i feel that Uh, yes maybe there'll be a day when we will be recognized when we'll be asked to come on the stage and to highlight the importance of the work that we are doing but be confident about yourself it comes with practice it's very easy to tell someone nahi tum kar sakte ho but jo karta hai usko pata hai kitna zyada mehnat karni hai but if you're prepared if you're confident you will sail through all the hurdles and you will be fine thank you I really hope that the, the day comes when the focus is on the content and how much is it benefiting everybody. Absolutely, and I'm sure it's going to come soon. Yeah, um, no, no, no. If we have platform like yours, we're kind of appreciating it. Then I think it will definitely come very soon. Yes. So with this, I think we come to the end of this uh, wonderful talk. I had a great time having this conversation with you personally. I think it helped me a lot, and I'm sure it helped others too. Um, Thank you so much. I even learned a lot, and I'm I'm not that old. I'm just 29 years old. There's a lot of life ahead of me, wherein I have to learn and grow. And I hope that such platform like yours, by giving me this opportunity, is also giving me an opportunity to learn more about myself. what is it that i need to do yes. to create a greater impact and nobody is perfect i'm always scared ki kisi din mujhe koi stage pe bulayega aur puchega acha iska pronunciation batao aur mujhe nahi aata hoga so i'm not an expert but i know how to teach i will do the hard work i will study and i will just you know put it out there to my audience that is what i call myself what that is what being a teacher is So yes thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity all the very best to you and your team you guys are doing great work and yes thank you thank you i want to just say that everybody can follow apurva on the, on instagram uh, her page goes by the name let's be eloquent she's also put it in the chat box uh, let's be eloquent and yes. you can also follow us on instagram uh, life positive it will be great and yeah. thank you everybody for joining us and we we'll just sign off now bye all right thank you thank you thank so you. much everyone it was so nice talking to you bye bye have a great great day and all the very best to you thank you